Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. So before we go to the update, I'm going to go back around 24, 21 hours ago and discuss this um, Zest refund for FC Sabrina's banner. Okay, a lot. there have been a lot of questions in YouTube, my Discord, and Facebook as well. And um, I'd like to address this first because, again, I wanted to i wanted to inform the community more or less on what are the what are their options um should they still pull for her banner um let's get right to it and you all know guys that the um the buffs are going down that's actually standard because there was again another nerf because of that but let's study the case that we they have here so case one return all zest used in eldorado sabrina chance up recruit to those who have exceeded 40 recruits so if you've you've summoned for let's say for example for 50 or 60 they will still reimburse or return your zest or the zest that you used um provided that you did it before the first compensation announcement okay so so if you did it before the compensation announcement whether you had 90 pulls 80 pulls they're going to give it all back to you okay so that's one um case two is return all zest that was used up to a maximum of 40 recruits in eldorado sabrina chance up recruit to those who have not exceeded 40 recruits so again, um, this is um, before the first compensation announcement. If you were lesser than 40 pulls, they will still return it to you. Okay. So number three is clearly state who will be getting the zest return. So all users who have used the Eldorado Sabrina Chance Recruit content in the period between April 22 after the maintenance and May 3rd. Okay. So... Again, if you still want to summon for FC Sabrina, um, even after the um, what do you call this, even after the the the, the what do you call this, the compensation announcement, you can still avail of the Zest uh, refund, but it's going to be up until forty. Okay, so after the compensation announcement, if you summon further up to 40 pulls, you're going to be, you're going to be reimbursed 40. But if you're going to go beyond 40, you're no longer going to be reimbursed for the excess of 40. Okay, number four is modify the amount of extra zest given out to those who have bought certain products in the shop. So again, there were certain packages there that um you'll be given extra zest because again some some of some of the players were able to buy uh, gems um, because they wanted to fusion fc serena you know times five so again they, they will be rewarded um extra zest so users who have a handful of zest 300 crystals in a cup of zest three three thousand three hundred crystals will also be given extra zest at the rate of 40 percent equal to their products Okay, so more or less, um, again, those are those are the, the the gist of the compensation that will be returned to the community for those who participated or for those who pulled for the banner. Hope this clears things out. Um, if again you purchase from the shop, you will get a certain percentage back. I'm going to look for it here. I think it's here. Um, um looking for it. Okay. So here's the additional payment station uh, Zest product. So handful of Zest, 300, you get an extra 120. Two handfuls of Zest, so 500 crystals, you get an additional 200 Zest. Bundle of Zest, 1,000 crystals, you get an additional payment of 400, and so on and so forth. So the last one is pile of Zest, 1,000 crystals, you get an additional payment of 4,000 Zest for this one. So again, this is compensation for, again, false advertising because they had to nerf fc sabrina apparently twice so again here goes the devs again not you know not thinking before they leap and it's it's a good way to at least appease the the what they call this the player base um of this or the community with this so again i hope 
this clears things up. So again, if you have more questions on the Zest refund or Zest compensation, please write them down in the comment section below. I'll answer all of your questions. Again, also, if you want to join my Discord server, please do. The link is in the description down below. I would also answer your questions there. Also, I have a Facebook group in which you could also post your questions there. Okay, so let's move on to the update because it's going to drop tomorrow. Okay, guys, so this update is dropping tomorrow. Um, notice for April 28th and 29th. So this is update one, part one. So April 28th, Wednesday to April 29th, Thursday. So you may not access the game during the maintenance, of course. Update details might change due to due to unexpected issue. So they will be releasing tomorrow, Chapter 18, Grave of the Dead update, Phasing the Truth, Queen Carrying Encounters with the Final Choice, so on and so forth. So we'll update the Chapter 18 with lower difficulty of the previous story. So Chapter 17, Required Combat Power and Mission will be downgraded. Uh, chapters 1 to 17 special mission would be downgraded as well change the break count mission maximum up to three times so again this would enable us to more or less clear this with uh, with three stars and let's move on to what everyone was actually speculating yesterday was um the choice three for blue recruit <laughs> fate core so again um this was teased last night i had a glimpse of this already in, in the discussions and it came true so tomorrow period april 29 thursday after the update may up to may 6th okay so by the way for the zest um refund it will be happening on may 10th so you won't be using that zest for this one so you'll be using it for the next banner that will be out Again, um, this is actually, I don't know if it's a good timing or wrong timing because um, this will overlap with FC Sabrina's um, banner. Her banner is going to be extended up to May 3, but this one is going to be up to May 6. So again, you will have your choice of FC Rachel, FC Tupaki, FC Baraka, FC Yao, and FC Eden. So during the limited period of time you can cho you can choose one of the fate core and recruit your first recruit will cost 200 zest which is good and you will need zebra zest after the first recruit um choice fate core cannot be changed after the selection so um more or less make a wise choice uh, especially if um you haven't um you haven't identified what which nation you're going to you prefer so more or less um just to have an overview rachel favors lenombe for buffs tupaki is north von frosty baraka there is where uh, has buffs for wasted red yawas buffs for Historic republic and eden has buffs for greenland okay if you have a blue fate court will if effect for those who apply the buffs so if you have more than two blue fate core only the buff effect will be applied to the blue fate core with the highest fusion blue fate core okay so more or less these are the the, the buffs below that that you see a uh, combat power attack defense and health these are the base base buffs but as you fusion um your 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 what do you call this your blue uh, fate core heroes with other copies then the buff actually increases Okay, so here is the the table for the increase. So more or less for the five of them, it's actually the same. So the base, the highest would be buffer health would be 28 to 31. Defense would be 5% to 6%. 6 Attack would be same 5.7 to 6.3%. Combat power would be 11.4 to 12.6. So more or less... This is what they've been given us. Um, they've given us in the past, so they're going to maintain this. And more or less, right now, I can see that FC Sabrina's buff is at par with this one. So attack again for this one is going to be a max of six percent. Same, actually, now with FC Sabrina, more or less. Okay, so precautions. So um, the rate to obtain Fate Core is zero point five percent, and um more or less this is i don't think 
this will have a pity core the core mileage will be deleted when the when the choice fate core re ends so again choose wisely guys on which fate core you're going to pull um, after the maintenance okay so core raid black white update we'll have a core raid again core raid is the previous core raid was very easy i hope this one is a bit challenging core raid um prizes would be um gale again for the first second would be fated fated armor crafting ticket next would be weapon crafting ticket nation recruit ticket and fate core recruit ticket for the last one so core raid pass you know, most of you guys are familiar with the core raid pass so you accomplish um i think this is actually 30 core raid individual um individual what you call this individual uh challenges then more or less you all also get a a good reward after 30 days then um it's up to you if you're going to unlock the the premium version of core raid pass okay so here is number two update so fate core memory update we will have fate core memory same with your 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 faded hero memory so it would be a good chance to complete um, fate core memory if you still lack some fate cores or you need to fusion some fate cores this will actually happen after the update and it will happen in your air squadron fate core memory sharing update so same with same with the fated heroes you can actually sh um, share it here this is actually a good way on how to acquire more fate cores so however you may not share you may not share the fate core memory in the cases below when you obtain a fate core equipped hero with not of cre creation re okay and when you obtain a chance of fate core equipped hero for chance up recruit okay the newly joined air squad member can receive the fate core memory for the next day once the member has shared a fate core memory withdraws from the air, air squadron you may not receive the fate core memory that the withdrawn member shared okay next would be your you know i've been i've been waiting for this so unleash potential increase stats and info info function and reset function update i'm actually excited with the reset function you can now check the increased stats from the unleashed potential uh okay um it's just more or less stats touch the button pop on increase stats information also the unleash potential function will have um function will be added as, as many as you have requested this a reset pop-up once you touch the reset button in the unleashed potential screen the currency and materials that you have obtained from this potential reset will appear in reset pop-up once you have an each potential reset you can get in return all the used solar seal circles ultimate orbs for this one in order to proceed with the niche potential reset a reverse clockwork is needed reverse clockwork can be obtained from from and bought from various events and packages in the shop reverse clockwork okay this is actually it i can't actually have a clear look at what it looks like but it's called reverse clockwork so all of exosier's players will be given reverse clockwork one after completing the update so we have a free reset guys and it, they're giving it to us Next would be team team buff in info function update. So this just says you're going to be informed more of the buffs that you have. So team buffs, if you can see here, I think this is with your missions and also your for, for PvP. So at least you can see the buffs that you have for your team. I won't explain more on this. Door to creation, fate core fate core recruit craft book update so fate core recruit craft book is being added to the door creation then craft book uh, same level you're using two of the fate cores that you hold as material so for those of you who have already extra fate cores and and you know have have more have already fusion five and have extras the, the material you need for the craft book is fate core excluding the hero and recruit will result also in a fate core recruit without the hero the fate core that will that was used as a material will not appear as the craft result so you won't have a for example if you're going to use to to um fc fc baraka the black one 
um, you won't get you know when you when you use it in the in in this one in the door to creation you won't get the same one you will get others actually so fate core recruit book list gold slash blue um gold or blue fate core times two can mix it will require this for this to work and result will be a gold and blue fate core as well black is black fate core times two zest uh, 100 zest required which will give you another black fate core which is actually good and now for our third update it's going to be the Bestonier team preset update so you can use the team preset a more or less again um, the preset will be available even after the tag PvP. So this even for 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 simple tag for simple PvP um, presets will be available. You can actually custom. You can preset up to I think three teams. So you can pre team preset A, B, and C from the left side of, of the Benstone, your team formation screen, touch the preset, and the team formation that you have saved and preset will appear. You, in each preset, you can bring up one main team and two tag teams so this is a very good um up update terrier die station posture change function update so i don't know what this is in the terrier die station you can change the posture of the hero okay okay when you enter terrier die station battle posture is set as default okay convenience improvement manage heroes journal hero tip here's hero nation will be shown within the information blah 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 blah, blah. okay in the hero tool tip, the nation will show up on the right side of the hero information. Hero tool tip. Right side of the hero information. Okay. Air squadron. Raid embodiment of average. A button to check the common power of air squadron and embodiment of average is added. In the air squadron, you can check the entry conditions, combat power, and the air squadron effect of each dungeon element. In, in, the in the embodiment of average, you can check the entry conditions, grade, and combat power of each dungeon element. Okay, stop. Shop. Sorry, shop station. A thousand unit comma will be added. Okay, attendance book. Okay, attendance pass package. Hero challenge. New clear conditions and words will be varying exogen virus type currency, air squadron battle. So we will have 10 or more air squadron members are needed. Okay, just an update for air squadron battle. Precautions, air squadron fix, hero battle. Ivan, hot blooded inventor and doctor mechanical engineer. Ivan will be included in the hero battle. You Pierce Labyrinth, we've added some new gimmicks. To maze, you pierce labyrinth. You make clear one dungeon again. It's usually the same. Exospass, a new exospass will be up for May. Pass Bastion common mission. Monthly season mission again is here. This is actually what I'm waiting for because I finished it a long time ago. And what else? Community purchase event. So again, for those who have seen um, the picture of a knight that's being teased. It's actually Silver Knight Degas. So it's an orange fate core. It's just a skin. And I've seen some correct answers for this one. And you guys have hit it on the nail. And it's really actually Degas in that FC. So nice art. But fortunately, it's just a skin. So step four. Again, it's he's a reward for step four for the cumulative purchase event choice forge event um you can select the equip tag type uh, okay bug fixes grave robber hero and recruit inventory path of trials path of trials then terry and die station so again this is actually the update that's going to drop tomorrow so more or less look forward to a lot of changes in terms of um, in terms of improvement in the game, improvement in the interface, and improvement in how we play the game as well. So more or less, again, this is the update for tomorrow. If you have, again, any questions, guys, on the update, especially on the previous Zest compensation, please, again, write it down below. Um, also... If you haven't subscribed yet 
in my channel please do around 85 percent of my viewers haven't subscribed yet and this helps a lot my channel okay guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here